Start turn. Right here. Right right if you said you had the man, turn left here. It's right up here. Right here. Right here. Right here. He's coming right. Last chance to stop before off ramp. What does that mean? Take this in. Take this in. First round. Slow down. Welcome to off ramp. Maybe counting to three and just jumping is the way to do. Let's count backwards. From what? Three. To what? One. So, yes. what's all this about? Well, then, it's it, it, it's it's nothing you should be all sort of concerned, but we're, we're putting up You a, got me out of bed. I was in the loo. All right, then. We're, we're I put, was taking a shower. We're putting in a new waterworks. Ooh, lovely. What's that for, then? Well, this it's lovely, except... It's coming right over your house. We've got to have your house. You're saying that the new wall works are coming in right over my house? Yes. It's a lighthouse, do you know that? Of course I know that. I'm speechless. It seems to me, what with city planners and, and the like, that you might find another place to put your bloody beautiful waterworks. Uh, Excuse me, is everything in order? No, he oh, doesn't. This uh, you have to understand, there is no other place. It has to be here. My Lord, how? The entire village mm. is dependent upon the water. And this is the only place it could possibly go. Well, my bloody job's depending on the water, isn't it? I mean, I'm the lighthouse keeper for crying out loud. Yes, precisely. But, but maybe you're not quite understanding me. We're closing... The lighthouse. There will be no more lighthouse. What? Closing the lighthouse? Yes. You're turning it off? We really must get these bulldozers going. Wait a minute. What if, what if, instead of turning off the lighthouse, we, um, move it, brick by brick, down the coast a bit? Would you like to do that? I'd like you to do that. I don't think so, no, I could do that. No. Move it. Move it, yeah. sure. You know... I think that's a lovely idea. I think that's a beautiful idea. I mean, what other bloody job of I can, can I get? We came to propose a job at the waterworks for you. What? What? What sort of job? A spigot turner. Spigot turner? Or, if you like, we do have... I, I wasn't going to mention this, but we do have a um, position open for the man who catches the little kids as they come down the slide. Oh. Kid catcher? Yes, it's a special... Very special job. Would I get to use a plunger? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, for safety's sake. Of course. Well, l- let him use the plunger. Okay. Uh, fine. Would I yeah. be able to wear a, some sort of rubber cap it would... to identify me as I would... spigot turning, child catcher, plunger wielding man? I Is would it... think it would be essential. Yes, because. Oh, I think so too. I mean, I was thinking, I was thinking, Lee, you know. I was well, I got the cap right here, and 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 we and uh, well and and we will supply the wellies. Oh yes. well, if you got the wellies, you know, uh, maybe a little brass plaque as people come into the waterworks, so that what they can see who it is, what's turning the spigots, who it is, and and catching the children and all what's like that. Fine. Oh, well, I'm gonna go have to wake wake the missus. Yes, do that. Right, yes. I'll be right back. If you could, if you could just get a, the uh, bulldozers are coming in five minutes. So please, uh, if you wouldn't mind, just terribly, um, if you could just get the missus, perhaps, and um, sleep on the lawn because we really need to pull right through the oh. lighthouse. You're gonna take it down tonight? Yes, it, it's just a little bit, you know, just, just the, the bit in the middle. All right. Oh, the middle. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I've got to go upstairs and maybe blink goodbye to all the ships at sea and say farewell. To the birds and what floats by, so peaceful and nice. It's a foggy night, isn't it, gentlemen? There's going to be a fair amount of destruction and wood cracking. been to this country before, is it... Is it safe at night? Sure. Which night? Well... The guidebook says Thursdays. But it's from an off year, so I don't know. Don't worry. I was told 
to worry. I can see you've been following directions. I don't want to sound overly suspicious. But shouldn't there be a wall there? It's been removed. We have a door. Who needs a wall? What happens in the rainy season? Moisture. I'm thinking of privacy. Put your clothes back on. We have a door. Who needs a wall? Here comes the rain. Close the door. Well, ain't that something? Ain't that fun. That ain't something you see every day. Oh, not like one of them... Not like one of them no, flame, flame retardant spray on. No, sir. My favorite flame retardant spray on is the eyeshadow that I saw on that woman. Ain't that something? Mm. That was. I don't want to tell you what. Her her eyelashes were burned right off, but that eyeshadow yes. retarded that flame. It mm. did. It retarded it. There was not a bit of scarring on her eyelids. How many burn victims do you reckon we've had in this town? Just out of this, out of the three beauty shops we've got. Now the. Oh, well, there's a Thompson, uh, the Thompsons, there's the uh, old, old man Johnson, yeah, he he yeah. caught fire kind that, of vicariously. There was nothing that left was of the old Bergs. Shame about that. Yeah. Shame. Nothing but the crutches, nothing but the rubber crutch tips. Of course, we recognize the cause right away. Mm. Well, sure. Well, who wouldn't? I mean, it's pretty clear. But the but they look so good when after that treatment's done. I mean, whoever was that saying that weren't worth the risk, because I want to tell you what. It is. We've done it that way here for years and years. Oh, it's well worth the risk. And we're not about to change for any... No, sir. Poly, polymer... What's that damn thing they got? Polymer. To, that replacement. Polymer no. replacement formula? No, sir. Mm. No, sir. Well, you know we developed these technologies here in Bitter Hill Creek. Well, and yes, sir. We're, we're proud of it, and rightly so. Well, that employs uh, half the town, too. And we were the first one to come up with the asbestos pomade. The asbestos pomade? Well, I'm wearing some right now. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, if you've got a problem, we can find a solution. We on can. A, on a hot day, the bear grease component will start to run, but other than the hottest day... I'm, I know we'll work these kinks out. These are just... For the hunters, minor that's set. always been one of the major selling points, is That's it? right. Well, animal call component of the asbestos pomade. Well, also probably why the bear counts down around here. Well, yeah. Now, I, I heard tell that there's uh, some sort of French beautician coming in. What's that? Uh, a French beautician would be a beautician from France. And is coming in to look upon our uh, our uh, beauty salons and have a little look see and see if they won't take something back over there to, to oh, France and Paris. You, and well... Um, I don't trust them. I, I heard fancy. about that. I don't. I don't trust them. One thing, I think they're either going to come down here, they're going to steal our our many inventions and and permutations and take them back and make just some some kind of mint off all those rich Parisian aristocrats. Well, you know what the difference is? The prime difference between the European beauty salon and the uh, the uh, American. Uh, beauty salon. What is that? Is oh, it, sir. it mostly? It's, it's the basis of the chemistry that they're using. They base everything on cheese, and we base everything on bear fat. So well, you can see that there's some things in common. They're both uh, they're both greasy. Basic for one thing. Some, yes, they are. some people are just taking this vegetarianism too far. Uh, well, just way too far. Cheese just doesn't seem natural to me. I want to. Well, I, I'm going to ask you this. Yes, sir. Do you think that just occurs naturally? I don't know where it comes from. I know that bear grease does. Seems to me cheese has to do with squeezings and then a little bit of fermentation. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. All that's I'm saying it. is that <clears throat> that's the fundamental difference between these. It's a matter of geography. I've read all about it. There's books in the library. If you can stay away from the librarians, you can get into the books. <laughs> that's good luck on that. That's a, the only thing that I'm worried about is when these travelers come through, they often bring samples of their wares. Remember that lightning rod salesman? No oh boy. And how he had them things stuck up on all the houses, and they all got hit by lightning. Hmm. One after another. i tell you something else, though. If this man starts handing out samples of his cheese-based 
hygiene products, some of these ladies are going to try them. Oh, and then where are we going to be? Man, what? I wouldn't be surprised if these people are coming over scouting the territory for a second invasion. You know, they came over once and that. Well, you know, they came over all inside that statue, didn't they? Yeah, and they, they sure came out were. at night. Nobody was expecting that. And Statue of Liberty. We need to be expecting it this time. I'm again it. I'm again it. Well, all I got to say is that probably we should be the ones to meet that French cheese hygienist. We should be the ones to meet him. Or her. At the town limits. Right, meet her right at the town limits. We'll escort her right on in. Well, you know, I don't want it said that I'm afraid of new things, but I just don't like new things. I just don't like them. Well, I want to, I'll just, I'm going to believe, I'm going to believe what they've been telling us when they came down and said to beware of industrial espionage. I'm going to, I'm going to believe that now. I didn't believe that then. I'm going to believe it now. I believe I will. I've always believed it. I've just never really thought about it. Well. So you want to go meet him? I thought you said it was a woman. I don't know if it's a woman or a man. They're from France. Well, I'm not. If it's They've a, got both. If it's a man, I'm sure not going. You can go and handle that. If it's a woman, I'm figuring you're going to need my help. Well, that might be the case. I uh-huh. just think that if the three of us go, then the three of us will be there. Well. Can't argue with geometry. So we could all go down there. When are you figuring on doing that? Well, it could be any minute. Well, no one are you going to tell us that. Any minute? I guess i got to get... Well, let me get my shoes on. Put your pants on. Let's go. I'll get up. God almighty, I guess I... Get. All right, then. Thirteen minutes later at the edge of town. Hello? 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 So, Can we help you? Well, we are here to see the... What uh, is it? We see the beauty salon. Oh, yeah, we heard all about you. We mm-hmm. heard all about you. Can't... You're not from here, are you? No, we You're... are, we We're are from, from Paris, France. Well, um, hi. Bonjour. Bonjour. Now, they're under... just getting insulting right off here. You can understand what the hell he's saying. I'm saying what he is saying is that we are so happy that we can show you our... our cheese-based hygiene products. I think you better just keep your cheese... On this side of the counter line. Tell me this, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tell me this. I have heard that in this part of this station in the United States, uh, that your hygiene products, you understand what I'm saying? Your hygiene products are made not of cheese, but they are made of uh, something else. What? Are they made Mercy, of? do you hear this? He's just here to try to get the formula. What is, is the uh, ingredient in your hygiene products? <laughs> tell us what the ingredient be kidding. is. Sure, we'll tell you what it is. It's sure. Dangerous. It's um, Here, why don't you have a piece of this Liederkranz? Here's some... Uh, don't eat that. I don't eat anything with more than two syllables. Why don't you have some brie? Let's feed it to the dog. You know, we'll be happy to share our secrets with you. Everything we Maybe make we could go inside. is made of uh, peanut butter. That's it. It's made of, it's, <laughs> I, well, yeah. he's got, you know, all right. What we need to know, we would like to share this bag of products with you. You see, ah, smell, it smells good, no? Mm. Like fresh roasted cheeses, huh? That well, smells like old shoes in my closet. I've smelled those shoes. What we like to do is maybe to get some of this uh, peanut butter in uh, maybe exchange for some of our uh, cheese block uh, hygiene based products, huh? Are you seriously telling me that all you folks over there? Yeah. Rub cheese on yourselves. Uh, skin. Okay. You know that skin is made of protein. See? Right? We. Oui. What is he saying? What? I, uh, I didn't follow that at all. Could you speak louder, maybe? I don't know. Speak Something. slower. Yeah. What we like to say is that. I'd just like to ask they're, you. They're just loony. What you're doing with this man here? Because you seem like a. Elegant, sophisticated woman there. Well, I am. I'm from France. And, uh, oh. I don't, I just don't, you know, are you, like, with 
him, or are you just kind of with him? Yes, we are we are traveling together. You look, you see, I, she carries the heavy bag. I wave my arms and I speak to you. Now listen. So I think here, here's what I'm gonna here's what I'm gonna tell him. Tell. I'm gonna tell him how to make peanut butter, and I'm gonna give him a couple of peanut plants, and let him take the damn thing back over there and grow it his own self. That's what I'm about to tell him right now. And I'm going right out here in this field and yank him up and hand him to him. And I hope there's a lot of dirt on them roots because I'm going to tell you what. Merci. Merci. You, here, here, Merci. Here, 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 take a look here. Take a look here. Merci beaucoup. Finally, I can release this bourgeois French accent and use my actual one. Well, shall we get down to business? Did you bring the suitcase? It's right here. Do you know the combination to the suitcase? No. Did you remember the combination to the suitcase? No. Can we shoot this man? I think Shoot I've... the suitcase lock instead. I think I've got it. Don't ruin that suitcase. There is the combination. Oh, you are a lifesaver. The man who's <laughs> driving the ski lift is drunk. This is my stop, Mr. Ski Lift Driver. Can you, under, you can't hear me? I'm sitting right here beside you. I am sorry. I was listening to the song of the wind. This man is drunk. <laughs> He's been drinking and driving the lift. This is very dangerous for the children when they come later. The children shouldn't be riding this device. They Look at the driver. Did you notice his pocket protector? Yes. He has a pocket protector in every single pocket of his uniform. Why does he want to protect his pockets? From what? You know what? No. I am not a German spy, no matter what you think. Come on. I have not been do not taping this conversation. Make sure you say that. Do not accelerate in the yellow zone in the ski lift. You will frighten someone below. I am sorry. This is a no-wake zone. So Finally. go back to sleep. Let's hold him by the ankles out of this gondola. We'll use his bright, cheerful hair as a bait. But who will drive? Who will drive if I am hanging by my ankles out the gondola? I will drive. I will drive this gondola, and I will drive it up the mountain. Do you have a gondola license? I have one right here. Oh. Uh, I will drive this gondola anyway. Great personal risk to all of you. That's a great comfort to us, I'm sure. I will get you there. Do you see the snow below? Yes. Mm-hmm. I will get you there. Oh, that's good. I think I see, coming into view, the little chalet where all of the people have been asked to assemble for this. Now I must speak again with my more Western accent, because... Very wise. We are rising in altitude... And then, ah, I am salivating already. That's my jacket sleeve. I wish you would be more careful. It will be frozen solid in a moment. I am... I cannot move my arm. Take it out of the jacket. Can you turn here? Please, I cannot move my arm. Turn. I'm going to Take park the... this gondola. Take the wheel of the gondola. Please. I'm going to Wait. double park this gondola when Wait. new people get out of my new gondola. Hey, okay, now... <sighs> the gondola is parked. Comfortably. I where, must congratulate you. Where are we exactly? We have come to the mountain top of the Hall of the Mountain King. Is and, um, this is exactly synchronize your three, two. I can never remember four, how to set the time. Six. Crap. Four. Pull out. And My chronograph now. is frozen. Wait. Crap. Uh, uh, no. Now we can assume our. Pre agreed upon identities? Yes. I am Aunt Gertrude, who is a famous knitter. I am Johann Sebastian Bobo. This will take a moment. <coughs> okay, okay. It will be George. Okay, George. And I produced Amnesia August 13th. 1992. What yes. do you think of these booties? Oh, look at her booties. Those these? are the nicest booties. They're knit, aren't they? Of course. Yes, they're lovely. Yes, thank you. All right. Now, 
Yes. Let's not remember to... Let's not forget, rather, to... Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Yeah. Gentlemen. Yes. Please, yes. Yes. ladies. Yes. yes. Please, yes. assume your disguises. Okay. Auntie. That's great. Oh, hello. Who are you people? Oh, that's great, Jojo. You're Auntie, looking good. I'm Auntie Gertrude. Auntie. I had forgotten. I'm sorry. I would like to <laughs> you knit mean? you some later hosen. <laughs> yes. What? Yes. Get inside the home, you fools. Uh, sitting out here in We're the middle of the ocean. We're just talking to each other. We have nothing to do out there. This mountain top. Get in. It's plus it's so cold. Do it? you have an appointment? Oh, I... Why? Certainly we do. Yes. We wouldn't come yes, here without an appointment. Of I'd like to knit you a nose warmer. No knitting without an appointment. Listen, my good well, sir. we must have an appointment somewhere. We, oh, we certainly have an appointment, Auntie. Check Listen, your bag. My good sir, we have an appointment to see the king in the hall of the mountain king. We are... Dumb. We have an appointment. We simply left it on the bureau at home. Do you see that gondola over there? It's double parked. An excellent point. Why did you not say so at first? I right. right. That's this good. way. Right. Pretty good. Good one. Yeah. After you, Auntie. Thank you. Y- yeah. Thank Through you. this yeah. door, please. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, some place you got here. It looks so much larger inside. It looks so much larger in person. Where exactly will we find the Mountain King? He will find you. Oh, okay. Dear. Wait here. Andy. Yes. I, I think you dropped your yarn there, doll. I think you might. Listen, I think we better keep up our disguises. Right. This is uh, not exactly yeah. what I had pictured. I know, but this place is great, though, huh? Yeah, maybe we Did could you see move the ping in. Pong eh? table is great. I love the ping pong. Take a look at the refrigerator. And look there. at the size of that refrigerator. Do you have any idea what there was be in there? There could be a ham. This could be two. Yes, two hams. I'm going to look in the refrigerator to if, see if there are hams uh, in there. Maybe booby trap. If there are gourmet Wait. foods, I am not leaving here uh, for several it's a, days. It's a kingdom. Of course there are gourmet foods. Ooh, then I'm staying right here. I bet he's got that fancy mustard. Oh. Let's go see. <laughs> I love uh, that spicy mustard. The door seems to be stuck. All right, we'll use the dynamite. So, like, hello, like, um, I'm the Mountain King, so, like, um... Hi there, Mr. Mountain hey. King. Hello. I'd like to present Auntie Gertrude. How do you... Uh, I'd like to knit you a bow tie. You came, like, all the way up to knit that... Wow, nice. What Thank, is your favorite nice. color? Um. Um. That's great. Well, that's, that's... You know you got a heck of a place here, Mountain King. Well, thanks. Do you, do you like ping pong? I love like, ping pong. Wow. Could you... I, I, I know I am simple, a simple commoner, and I hate to interrupt you, but you see, my dear, we're famished. Whatever do you have in that large refrigeration unit there? Refrigeration unit? Oh, oh, oh that, the, fr- the fridge, yeah. Heck of a thanks. frigidaire you got there, pal. Well, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> like, the, the, uh, you know, it's usually, like, cook for me, but you can, you know... Like help yourself. Door You're seems too to be, kind. The door seems to be Let's stuck go. here, there, Kingy. It must be. It must be locked. There must be a combination lock on this one, Kingy. Yeah, I think there is. I think um, if you just press the red button and then the blue yeah, one, red, and blue. then pull the green latch pull out the to the green. side. Oh, other, other, yeah. there it's opening. It's big. It's beautiful. I'm going in. Come on, Auntie. All right. Toodles. Bye. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Jojo. Let's get in the dog sled. It's wonderful. It's like another world. Mush! There are sausages hanging like stars in the heavens. It appears that we have left the king behind. We can drop these foolish disguises. These foolish disguises have <laughs> served their purpose, haven't they? They've gotten us into the royal refrigerator. We have gotten into the inner sanctum. The king is a fool. He fell for every trick. Let's pull over the dog sled. Feed the dogs. 
Feed the dogs. Feed the dogs. Feed the dogs. Every day I'm feeding the dogs. Are these real dogs or are they just dogs in our imagination? They are barking. They are certainly real. They are barking. What is real, though? They are the size are real of... in our heads? My dogs are barking. These dogs are the size of tiny horses. These dogs are 13 double Bs. I can hardly even see where we came in. I can't see any... All I can see are those mountains there. Hmm. Look at this snow. This appears Hello. not to be snow and ice. This appears to be cheese. It has the consistency of cottage cheese. It reminds me of porridge. There must be mustard here somewhere. This is, in fact, farmer's cheese. Oh, the Farmer's go- cheese. We must be in the country. Mm-hmm. And where there is farmer's cheese? Somewhere you will find... A farmer's daughter. Ho, ho, ho. And now I'm going to speak to her as a Frenchman. The countryside is so beautiful here, no? Hello. Could, My father wouldn't enjoy you to be here. Have you ever seen New York City? Oh, no. Yeah. Not New York City. <laughs> Perhaps you would like to go to Broadway and Hollywood. I don't have the proper shoes to go there. You wear? I only wear size 13 double B. What? What? The password. She knows the password. She seems to know the password. I think she must be a contact. The snow is gone. Look, there is melted before our very eyes. Verdant fields of green are here. The mist has lifted. (laughs) Oh, suddenly, I can see why we have come. This show was improvised by Gary Bass, Matthew Cowley, and Dave Waterman, and edited by Sheila Daughtry.